As Nancy said, I'm Robin LeClaire, Chief Academic Officer at the Indiana Department of Education. Um, she mentioned that I have been uh, in public education for 26 years, and I am honored and privileged to be asked to speak in front of you today. As teachers in public education and in the trenches every day, I'm certainly humbled to be able to stand in front of you and speak. I know this group has a heart for kids, and I had two dilemmas when preparing my remarks this morning. First, when approached by Jolly, she asked me if I could make some brief introductory remarks. If you know me or have ever spoken to my husband, you know brevity is not my strong suit. However, I'm going to give it a go this morning. Then as I began to prepare my remarks, my second dilemma, because as I thought about all the cliches I could talk about, about high expectations, whole child education, closing the achievement gap, I realized this is the last group of people that needs to hear that. Because you're living it, breathing it, and crushing it every day. So I took a break from thinking about my remarks to scroll social media. You know, the ADHD in me did that. And I ran across a tweet from my favorite social media person, my favorite influencer, Dr. Jennifer McCormick, state superintendent. And she said, for educators, there are moments our experience is dismissed, disregarded, disrespected by those who have never taught. Anybody, does that, yes, let me, let's hear it. I can take an amen. So I read that tweet. And that shaped these remarks because it reminded me of the story of Jamie Vollmer. You may not know that name, but he was the owner and CEO of an ice cream company made famous for award-winning blueberry ice cream. His company became so successful and so profitable that he decided the national, natural progression from CEO of a, of a successful ice cream business was to tell public educators how to run schools. Isn't that the natural progression of how we do things? So he started marketing himself as an educational consultant. And with his great qualifications, which included zero education experience and zero education training, he of course got hired by some big districts and superintendents across the country to come and speak, consult, advise, and let's just face it, judge education and educators. So Jamie Vollmer, feeling full of himself, was speaking to a group of teachers about his philosophies. He said, if I ran my business like you run your schools, I'd be out of business in a year. I'd be bankrupt. We, meaning the business people of the world, know how to produce quality. No defects, no excuses. He went on and on, a little like me right now probably. When a veteran teacher and I only believe she was a veteran teacher because she was brave enough to stand up and say this in front of her superintendent, so she had to be near enough retirement to, to get it. So I'm just assuming she's veteran, but that, that may or may not be a true part of this story. She said, Mr. Vollmer, I hear you make good blueberry ice cream. Yes, I do, the very best. He gloated. Premium ingredients? Absolutely, nothing but. Then she said, if you get a shipment of blueberries with some bigger, smaller, drier, inconsistent, what do you do? I send them back. And I heard, now this could also be folklore, that a certain kind of grin crossed her face at that very moment because he had just stepped into her trap. She said, well, guess what, Mr. Vollmer? We get a new shipment of blueberries every year, and we don't. 
We can't send them back. We take them big, small, rich, poor, gifted, exceptional, abused, frightened, confident, homeless, traumatized, those who have ADHD, English as a second language, and different levels of abilities. And we take them all. Every one. And that, Mr. Vollmer, is why we are a school, not a business. I probably don't need to tell you what happened next, except that hundreds of teachers jumped to their feet and started shouting, yeah, all the blueberries. <laughs> Mr. Vollmer reconsidered his career move. He went back to making ice cream, and that's why none of you have ever heard of him. So to all of you today, I want to say for taking all the blueberries, for teaching them, believing in them, pushing them, and most importantly, loving them. I have but two words for you. Thank you. We see you, we appreciate you, and we're so glad you're here today for a day of learning, hopefully a day where your souls will be fed, because tomorrow you're going to be back with the blueberries. Thank you so much.